and the game turned out to be a doozy. Playoff resume is on the line. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. You don't have to be an Einstein to know that. Which team would remain unbeaten? Under two minutes of play in the first half. BYU down 13-7. Zach Wilson, Dax Milne. Feet did not fail him. Let's take another look. Oh, tiptoe through the tulip. <laughs> Keeps his feet in bounds there, but look at never Somebody needs to push him out of bounds, Derek Bush. Good game to watch. Everybody thought he stepped out. He didn't. He steps into the way end zone. 41 yards. 14-13 Cougars. Seven, seven seconds left in the half now. BYU. Listen, anybody can attempt the Hail Mary. Wilson intercepted by Bush. All right. Forget about Bush. Keep an eye on Wilson because the Coastal Carolina dude's going, all right. Free shot on the quarterback. Welcome to Conway. BYU's bench, they didn't dig that, understandable, you gotta, you must protect the quarterback, they ran out there, we got a little scuffle, there'll be no like, hey, you guys want to check out the town after the game with us? <laughs> no, 14-13, BYU at the half, let's go fourth quarter, each team added a three-pointer, Grayson McCall to Cameron Brown, that's on a second and eight, down to the two-yard line, 20-yard game. Here comes the sun. Next play, C.J. Maribel, 128 yards, two touchdowns. How about the Coastal Carolina ran for 281 against the BYU team that had averaged given up 90? Put your masks on, kids. Come on. Coastal Carolina missed the two. They're up 22-17. Under six to play. Third and two, Tyson Tyler Algier. 13 carries, 106 yards. Attacking for a three-yard loss there, so BYU has to punt. Ensuing Coastal possession, under two to play. BYU's out of timeout, so a first down here will be ice. No! BYU's defense steps up a call. Stop short. Coach Shadwell says we'll punt the football. Wilson going to get another chance, but he needs, he needs to go to length of the field. 35 seconds left. And no timeouts. Gunnar Romney. It's not a BYU highlight if Romney's not in it. 33 yards right there. 15 seconds to play. Ball in the 46. Wilson finds Mill over the middle. 15-yard catch at the Coastal 31 with nine seconds left. Clock stops. Chains move. Wilson gets his team to the line. He's going to spike the ball with seven seconds left. Coastal Carolina's like, man, this is the biggest game we've ever been in. <laughs> Next play. Come on. Come on, crowd. Get into it. Wilson, quick pass to Milne. Milne is the man to go to. Gets out of bounds on the Carolina 18. So they got one more play. They got three seconds left. They traveled 2,200 miles. They need 18 yards. Wilson to Milne. 2,200 miles, and they came up a yard short. Mateo Sadipo, the freshman with the tackle. Crowd crazy. Great effort by the freshman right there. Wilson cannot believe how close they came. The home crowd's going crazy. Carolina coach Jay, Jamie Chadwell on what the postgame celebration will be like. Well, we got choreographed in the locker room. Later. Hey, you need to come in here because it's going to be special. <laughs> Fourth FBS season, biggest win ever. Coastal Carolina, 22-17. They're unbeaten, baby. There's no words can explain it. Um, you know, we heard all week that we're going to get killed. We're not big enough. We're not ready. Our guys never believed that. They're resilient. Coastal football's here, and we're here to stay. Our small guys have been tested all year. They, everybody takes them at their size. They took it personal, and they say, hey, Coach, run it behind us. We're going to make it happen, and we controlled the clock. That was the only shot we had to win, and we did it. Man, we're used to it. You know, we were picked to finish last in the Sun Belt, so... It's just a group of guys that love each other, they come in every week and work hard, and it's not a surprise to, it's a surprise to everybody, but we knew we could do it the whole time. Let's bring in Jim Moore, coach. You see that last play, you're thinking what? Well, I'm thinking BYU's got to find a way to get to the ball into the end zone, and they were in an area of the field that makes it difficult. They're on about the 18-yard line, so you're not far enough out where you can throw the Hail Mary, jump ball, where everyone goes up for it, maybe get lucky. And they weren't close enough to the goal line where you can run crossing routes and picks and rubs. And so I'm thinking, how are they going to get someone open? And they tried to get guys open deep, was covered up, so they tried to slip a guy underneath and maybe try to dance into the end zone. Very reminiscent of the Rams versus Titans Super Bowl play years and years ago. Yeah, missed it by that much. All right, we talked Friday. You said, you know, people don't understand or don't realize how good Coastal Carolina is. 
How good is Coastal Carolina? Well, they're really good. I mean, they're physical. They can rush the passer. They stop the run. They run the ball well. You know, and I, what I really liked today was the way they kind of gave Zach Wilson the business. You know, I mean, they roughed him up a little bit. They stayed on him. When they sacked him, they stood over him a little bit. They probably took it a little bit too far a couple times. But uh, I think that that had an effect on the game. I think that they were a little bit bothered by the fact that people weren't giving the respect that they deserved. And I think now people are going to respect them, that's for sure. I know I do. Talking ball, Jim Mora. Hey, man.